And now it's time for development debates, where we dig deeper into some of the questions shaping the future and present of China. Today we will see two experts debate if China's solar panel industry can revive itself after a three-year recession. China's solar panel industry saw rapid sales growth before 2010. Its high profit margin and low market entrance threshold attracted many companies to enter this field. Very quickly, the dramatically increased production of solar panels exceeded demand. And overcapacity drove solar panel prices down. In turn, this caused solar panel companies' profit margin to plunge. Some Chinese manufacturers even began to lose money. Then, last year, China's largest solar panel company, SunTech, announced bankruptcy due to the depressed market. However, now it seems that the situation is changing starting this year. Bloomberg reports that it is estimated this year the global market demand for solar panels will increase by 29%. They also predict a shortage in supplies for the first time since 2006. Stefan Hahn is an analyst from the global energy consulting agency, IHS. He believes China's solar panel industry will soon be restored. Stefan cites data from Bloomberg, which shows that the capacity of solar panels should reach 52 gigawatts by the end of this year, and that the global production capacity exceeds demand. But next year, the installed capacity in the world could surpass 60 gigawatts. Stefan also predicts that by 2030, China's installed solar panel capacity will exceed 1,400 gigawatts. This means this market overcapacity might be a thing of the past. Apart from that, Stefan also points out that the Chinese government has implemented a series of policies to encourage building new solar panel power stations. Instead of constructing large-scale solar panel power stations, the policy encourages local governments to develop so-called distributed power stations. This refers to solar panels set on rooftops used for generating electricity. Big electricity consumers can use distributed solar power stations in order to reduce their power costs. Meanwhile, the local government will also provide a certain amount of subsidies to encourage companies to construct distributed power stations. Conversely, an article written by financial commentator Tao Yin doesn't support Stefan's idea. Tao agrees that China's solar panel industry has begun to recover to some extent. This can be seen from the share price increases of Chinese solar panel companies listed on the U.S. market. It also can be seen from the government's new policy in increasing solar panel product prices. Tao explains all of these things support the idea that the solar panel market depression will be over soon. But it still cannot say the market overcapacity situation has been resolved. Tao explains that both the U.S. and European Union's anti-dumping investigation will largely affect Chinese export markets of solar panels. Data from China Customs shows that Chinese companies reduced solar panel export to European countries by 10 percent. Apart from that, in June this year, the U.S. Department of Commerce announced to levy anti-dumping duties on Chinese solar panel companies. This news caused solar panel exports to the U.S. to drop by 60 percent. Tao also mentions that domestic solar panel demand is unoptimistic. Data shows that during the first half of this year, the installed capacity only reached 3.3 gigawatts. The government promoted distributed solar power stations only saw 1 gigawatts installed capacity. That's far less than the annual target of 14 gigawatts. Therefore, Tao concludes that these facts prove that the market overcapacity still exists. If Chinese solar panel companies keep expanding productivity, then the entire industry will once again experience cutthroat price competition. Many market insiders point out that judging the revival of China's solar panel industry should not depend on market supply shortages or excessive demands. The critical issue is how Chinese solar panel companies can change business strategies to be more successful. Instead of launching cutthroat price competitions, Chinese companies should develop brand awareness, technology, and marketing management.